Welcome to a day in the life of twins. Feed me. Oh my gosh, she is filling her diaper so much. Good girl. I hope that doesn't overflow, that was a lot. Does that feel good? Good morning, princess. Good morning, handsome. Hi, buddy. Good morning. It is 8.52 a.m. I'm just topping off these guys. These babies, they are one month old tomorrow. They're still eating every three hours. It seems like they've really settled on this schedule of eating at 8, 11, 2, and 5, around the clock. And so last night, we topped them off and went to bed between 11 and 12. They ate at 2, they ate at 5, and here we are at their 8 o'clock feeding, which really was a little bit more like 8.30, which was great, kind of let me sleep in a little bit. I'm just gonna finish getting these babies fed. I'm going to burp them and then get dressed for the day. And then we're gonna go check out and see what the rest of the family's doing. Here's Daddy, good morning, Daddy. Hey, I have an extra set of hands now. Do you mind burping this little boy? Sure. Bubba is our breakfast and morning routine guy. While I'm up here taking care of these little babies, Bubba's handling the other six kids downstairs. He gets them breakfast and then gets them dressed. Depending upon when you're watching this, you may or may not know that we are in the middle of the coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic. So we are actually hunkered down at home. The kids don't have school or acti activities or anything since uh, this is March. So are we March? We're in April. We are in April. Oops. Anyway, so the kids are all home. So Bubba is our PE teacher. So every morning, Bubba rallies the kids and gets them dressed in like workout clothes. Right, they go get swole. It was kind of rainy yesterday, but it's nice out today. And they're gonna go running on a trail. And so I think I'm gonna get these babies in the stroller and go get some fresh air right along with them. Joss, say hi to Freeps. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. You hear your siblings downstairs? Oh, what's with the cross eyes? It happens. They're the best of us. <laughs> Hello. So Joss, uh, she's our big girl. She's probably about a full pound bigger than that boy now. And she's got chunky, chunky cheeks and the cutest little rolls on her arms and legs. Devereaux, we're still trying to chunk up a little bit, which is why we're sure to top him off after I nurse them because he needs to get his calories up and then she doesn't want to miss out on the party too. So they're both stocking away. She is 100% Paige. She is Bubba's family's little baby clone. And then Dev, he is much more of the Francis side of things. He's got the big eyes and narrower face. Oh, I hear your big brother. Should we go get him? Good morning. Hi, big guy. Hello. Hi. Come on. Good morning. You slept a long time. Yeah. You guys, this is momentous. I made Bubba go check on him like four times yeah, 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 to make sure he was breathing because this kid is normally up at six. It is 9 a.m. right now. What was into you? Good morning. <laughs> Why are you sleeping so much? I'm so glad. I sure love it because Daddy got to sleep in yeah. there. Alright buddy, you ready to go for a walk? Get you some food and go for a walk. Well I got dressed, I let these little guys have a play date together. They love being side by side. But you guys are getting so big, you're not gonna fit in this much longer. You guys ready to go? 
Should we get out of here? Let's do this. I know everyone's gonna ask me about this stroller. I bought it from Europe, literally with euros online because I couldn't find a triple stroller that was meant for three babies in the US that I liked. I really like it, it was, it was pricey and it took a long time to ship here, but it wasn't a whole lot more than like the Uppa Baby with all the attachments and stuff. The difference is this stroller is so heavy and it has to be because it has room for three bassinets or three car seats or three stroller seats and you have to be able to take one out without the whole thing tipping over. So it is really heavy and I haven't even tried to fold it up and put it in my car. The jury's still out on it. All right, come on baby girl, we got this. We didn't even make it out of the driveway and she pooped. She's a little fussy, but hopefully once we get going, what do you think, Kutch? Let's hope. We got this. It's 10.14, our kind of homeschool schedule right now is 10 o'clock is when the kids do exercise. Hutch and Bubba are jogging. Get that booty shaking. Oh, I got, I got plenty of booty to shake. Thanks to these twins, I got lots of junk in my truck. Alright, we're home. It's 11 and we are about, about to get lunch on. I'm gonna try to hurry and get these kids some food before the babies need to eat. But guys, this place is a mess. We're gonna speed clean for 10 minutes while I get food on. Ready? Uh, team? Yeah! Let's do it. Yeah. Beck, your job is to clear off this table. Davey Moore has a TV room. Priya's got the desk. And we've got these babies over here that are content for a minute. So I'm going to hurry and get some stuff done before they wake up. this guy today he is normally not like this at all I don't think he feels good maybe he's getting teeth or something right now starting at 11 is usually our school time these kids are reading for 30 minutes while I get lunch ready good job Hutch is working on a video and Priya is helping me with the food for a second while I take care of this sad baby gotta figure out what's going on is when I need a quick minute to get something done, I'll give my kids a project, something that they can do completely independently on their own, which is why they're all reading and on the computer, and then Priya's helping me cook, but I can hear the babies waking up, so I gotta hurry and finish lunch before they wake up. Did you just need some food? We also gave him a little Tylenol in case, I think he's getting some molars. Oh, I spoke too soon, we're still fussy. This is the hard part about nursing twins is that I can't help my 18 month old, but I've got big helpers. 
Hodge and Priya who are very helpful and otherwise I just try to feed them fast and hope that McEwen doesn't kill himself in the meantime. We do have baby jail over there which if he's really just being unruly or I don't have helpers around then we have that trampoline that we got him for Christmas. I will link it on my Amazon page and it has a completely enclosed net and so I'll just put him in it and zip it up. He loves the trampoline but he doesn't like when he's zipped in there but at least he's safe and can have fun in there while I nurse the babies and I'm stuck. Baby jail is key. He's at it. McEwen, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Hi. Come on. What are you doing? Hello. This little mobile bassinet thing is nice. It folds up really small. McEwen can't reach in there, and so it kind of keeps the baby safe when he's awake. If I need to just set them down or change them or something, then they're not at the mercy of being on the couch. And this is pretty inexpensive. I will link this below. This is really good for traveling too. And I also use this to keep all of their stuff in. Downstairs, I keep just like their blankets and things all consolidated into one spot. And normally, I'm not a proponent of bottle propping, but it is physically impossible for me to bottle feed two babies at once and to have hands to adjust or change their diapers or do anything else. So as long as I'm sitting right here behind them uh, when I don't have Bubba to help me feed a baby, it's gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just staying right here and watching them so I can feed them at the same time. Otherwise I would not be able to do that. It's almost 12.30 and I haven't really eaten. I'm so hungry. I would say that's probably one of the hardest things about having twins is I can manage them fine, but it's really hard for me to take care of myself. I have got to keep my calories up. I have a breast milk supply problem anyway. I usually run out by about one or two months. And so I'm really trying to keep my calories up, but it's hard between the twins and the 18 month old and the five other kids. I don't really get a whole lot of time for me. Well, lunch is done. But the aftermath, you're done. Someone needs a wipe, yay. The aftermath of lunch. I need these kids to help me clean this up. McEwen, no, no, hop down. What is that? Luckily that's empty. Come here. Man, this kid, you are busy, busy. You are so much harder than two newborns. Come on. Oh, a racket, where'd you get that? Good. You going night night, McEwen? Say night night. Ooh, Ooh say dude. night night. Hey, look. I need to wash your face. Night night. Say night night. Night night. <laughs> Love you. Love you. He feels better with that towel on him. Now that he's napping and these babies are fed, I'm gonna let them just kind of play in this little crib for a second so I can get some food. the girls for a minute. The babies are asleep and I'm gonna take 30 seconds to put my face on. Even though it's 1.30, it makes me feel a little more human. And I'm also catching up on my over 70 texts that I have missed, most of them for work stuff. So I'm gonna try to work for an hour if I can while the kids play, fingers crossed. Okay, put my face on, I feel a little more human. I'm also snacking on a giant cup of jelly beans because it's been one of those days. The babies are sleeping, they're napping. I decided to just keep them down here instead of putting them upstairs. Let's move your pinky, buddy. All right, Hutch is editing music videos. Yeah, I love this song. Good. Yes, of course. Yay. Hold on. We've got a bunch of messes going on here, but I'm not really gonna worry about them right now because the kids are occupied and I am trying to catch up on work. We've got Priya over here doing voice lessons on an iPad. What's this app? Musician. Musician. And then McEwen is asleep. 
Bubba's on work calls, so I'm tired. This would be a moment where I would maybe nap, but uh, I'm gonna kind of push through today and just get some work done. Might switch out a load of laundry. Oh, it's like they heard me. Oh, okay. It is 3.30. She's ready to eat right on the dot. But the problem is, baby brother is fast asleep. So this is the problem with twins. In order to keep them on the same schedule, somebody's gotta wake up before they're ready. And today, it looks like it's this guy. Wakey, wakey, your sissy's hungry. Wake up, she's starving. Look who's awake. McEwen, where'd you go? I am nursing again. Well, he was happy. Now he's mad. 3.40, daddy's off his calls. He's getting McEwen a snack. I have let the messes go today. Why clean up when it's gonna get messy five seconds later? So what we're doing is we're sending the kids outside, get some exercise. Bubba's gonna help me get dinner ready. He's gonna roast some chicken on the Traeger. He did it for the first time on Sunday and it was really good. So I'm putting him in charge of that again. I'm gonna feed the babies and get them settled and that takes a while. Honestly, they probably nurse for only like 10 minutes. But then, you know, you gotta burp them, you gotta get the bottles, you gotta change them, and then you gotta burp them, and then they need to be awake for a little bit and get all their bubbles out before they fall asleep. So it could be a 45 minute to an hour process, depending. They feed every three hours, so two hours after that, turn around and you do it all again. Sometimes I feel like I'm just feeding babies all day long and feeding big kids all day long. So anyway, once I'm done with these babies, then I'm going to clean up and get dinner ready. And right when dinner's done, I'll probably have to feed these babies again. Hashtag mom life. It is 5.30. I just finished a work meeting planning out our Mori June diaper bags and other exciting surprises. The kids have been playing outside and because Bubba and I have been distracted taking care of work and kids, it is like an actual bomb went off in our house. We are gonna rally the kids in here and we're gonna do a 10 minute speed clean of this place before dinner because, oh my gosh, look at this. It is 6.06, .06. Bubba made chicken and it's done. McEwen is starving. He's getting molars. That's what's going on. So we gave him some Tylenol. We cleaned up. Good job, kids. Cleaned up the floors. And this little baby is ready to eat, but her brother is sound asleep. So I'm trying to hold her off for a minute. I'm gonna give her a binky here in a second. And Bubba's gonna get these guys dished up while I sit down and feed the babies. Crazy. It's crazy over here. Seven nineteen. Hey, go, go, go. The kids are up in the shower. We're holding the little babes. I'm eating cold mashed potatoes and Bubba's chicken that he made, so good. Just gotta make it another 45 minutes and then freedom at last. Cheers. I think I can, I think I can. Nine thirty-seven. Kids are in bed. Bubba's been doing the dishes. I've Almost been done. Watching a show and feeding the babies. And we ordered DoorDash nachos. <laughs> Our team gave us it as a gift card. As a gift, gift. card. Uh, very grateful. And DoorDash is a good way, I think, to support restaurants still to keep the economy pumping without having to leave your home and and go out there. I think I have a code too. I'll leave it down below. So we're gonna go ahead and eat and then head upstairs and get these babies ready for bed. Joss is way fussy. She needs to poop or something. I don't know. So we'll see how tonight goes. But I'm hoping that the last hour has just been like her getting all of her fussiness out of her system. Let's hope. Hey, you guys were talking to me. I just you guys were talking to me. Hello. Time to go to bed. 
You guys want to hold hands? So this is where we are trying to keep them awake and active. We kind of have this ritual where we feed them downstairs typically as we clean up and watch a show and stuff. And then we come up, let them kick and play, get all their bubbles and wiggles out, and get them in the tub. When we're ready for bed, we top them off and feed them one more time before we put them down, which kind of resets the clock and lets us get a little bit of sleep between feedings. Which died. <laughs> 10, 40, 54, almost Oh, 11. almost 11. We're six minutes ahead of the game. So usually by about 11, sometimes 11.30, depending. We're wound down, got the babies fed, burped, bathed. We go to bed, and I wake up at two, wake up at five, and we do it all over again. We're matching. We're matching, and they're matching. That is the cutest thing ever. That is the cutest thing ever, and that was a really good burp. So there you go. That is a day in the life of newborn, one-month-old twins. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment of how oh, cute baby twins are. Mwah. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you guys have any other questions or if you have any suggestions for what you want us to film next, please let us know in the comments below. We're gonna let you guys go. I have nothing else to say because I'm ready to try and get sleep because our kids will probably wake up in about six or seven hours. Yeah, as soon as these babies go down, we gotta hit the sack because our time is ticking. Baby Devro and Baby Josh say thanks for watching. We love you. Bye guys. We love you so much. Gonna go night night now. Okay, come on Susie, let's go. Bye bye.